Alright everybody, this is going to be a quick how to um, use the return to home feature, the pro reprogramming it to whatever position you'd like, and so um, we need to make sure that your intelligent orientation control or S2 switch has been activated through the vision assistant software. If it has not, then uh, it won't work. So what we're going to do first is after we ensure that IOC is activated, we're going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Okay, and then we're going to turn on our phantom. And as you know, it's always safe to take off the blades, uh, the propellers, before you actually end up doing any sort of ground testing. But I'm going to disregard my own advice and hopefully we don't end up with any incidents. So now that the Phantom's on, we're going to have a hard time demonstrating it since it's not going to get a good satellite fix indoors here, but we'll go ahead and go through the motions. So once you acquire your satellite lock, like it looks like it's doing right now. Um, and you have all seven satellites, you'll get a steady green blinking light. Since we don't have all seven satellites, we're getting the intermittent red and green. So, um, again, we're just going to go through the motions anyway. So on your IOC controller, um, whenever you want to reprogram a new return to home point, you're going to use the middle S2 and down S2 switch positions and you're going to toggle between those two positions five times to reprogram uh, the return to home point. So basically you just fly over an area that you want that point to be and then you can go through that sequence and then it should work in theory. So we're going to go ahead, switch to the middle position to start with, and then we're going to toggle five times fairly quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Leave it in the home lock position. And when it's successful, you'll see the flashing, quickly flashing green light again. Um, since we don't have a good satellite fix, we're not seeing that. But you'll see that in the actual aerial demonstration later on. So once that's been done you can turn IOC off and then um, to verify what I tend to do is I'll turn it off to uh, an oblique angle and then push it off 10 meters or so. Turn on home lock, make sure that it's at a different orientation than it was and then I'll pull back on the stick and if it returns to the new point that I programmed we know it's good to go and that's that's my sequence how I verify it um, once that's done I'll switch it off and then um, and then you can go push it off to another location and initiate fail safe you can see fail safe on the status lights and it should return to your newly programmed point so we're going to go outside and test it and see what happens